Welcome back, everybody! Russ here with some more Thousand Year Door remake. So, last time we began Chapter 6 with our lovely three day ride on the Excess Express. We are now in the evening of day two, where the ship. The ship. Where the train has taken a stop to refuel. We stopped to refuel at Riverside Station. There's a quaint drawbridge here where the commercial boats cruise the canal. Oh, I can't hear my toad voice. It has been used since the canal was dried up and turned to pasture. That's a Riverside Station worker. This is where they refuel the Excess Express. Wonder what it uses for fuel anyway. Probably golden oil or something. My dear Luigi, I'll suspect it was not only a fake zip toad. It was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us a slip like that, though. It was a rather slippery salt. We could have questioned him about all that beldum business. That's Pennington. He says he's a detective, but I don't know. Not to be, you know, totally catty, but what kind of detective loses a suspect? So yeah, we rode the train for two days. There was a bomb threat, and it turned out the one behind the bomb threat was Dupless, pretending to be a famous actor, and he was working under Beldum. Dupless is now one of the three shadows. Oh no, what'll we do? Someone's after the drawbridge! The train can't leave the station like this! Ugh. I saw some suspicious looking shadowy people wearing hats going to the station! They must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there! But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room even is! So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go and find and throw that switch? Maybe? Well, we're not moving otherwise. Really? Super! No time to get started at the present! Here's the station's key! Thank you so much! Please find the control room and flip that switch! You're our only hope! That's a Riverside worker. He stands here all day to ensure the train's safety. Wow, I would hate having to work in a place like this. There's nothing around here. The switch for the drawbridge is located somewhere below the station. Question is, how do we get there? So, we're stranded here until we find that switch, which it seems Beldum flipped in order to delay us in case the bomb threat didn't go through. So, we now begin this chapter's dungeon, Riverside Station. We're inside Riverside Station. It's an old brick building with natural warmth. It's antique elevator is totally charming, too. I am in love with that thing. You think it works, though? I'm not that fond of getting trapped in elevators. Is there a panel? I don't think there is. No. Bridge control room. Well, we found it. Huh. Guess we need a key. Damn it! So here we go, hunting for this stupid elevator key. I think I set my stuff up before I even started this chapter, huh? Yeah, piercing blow, soft stomp. HP, spike shield, power blood. Yeah, we're good to go. <laughs> I can't hit it while rolled up. We're inside the station. This place has been out of use for a while, I think. I love those solitary light bulbs hanging from the ceiling. It's so shabby cheek. Couldn't we blow these away with flurry? Is there anything under them? Okay, something else to complain about in this remake, that you can only blow away one thing at a time. Hello, hello. Wow. 
Jazzy. I just realized that one has an item. <sighs> Go for it. Damn it. Oh, wait, no, got him. That's a rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Although I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them, but anyway. HP 7, attack 4. They swoop at you or charge themselves electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're charged, you'll get a shock. And they'll absorb any lightning attacks you throw their way, so... Don't do that. Yes, in inject more jazz, please. Into the I, I love that shit. This is the other side of the big clock. Lots of endlessly moving gears. A lonely clock counting out the endless progression of hours, heard by no one. Alright. Calm down, you. Wow, what the hell? God, I love Nintendo and their shoddy controllers. I hate it here. No, seriously, the fuck do I do? There's a lot of ice here. Are those puff bastards weak to ice? Alright, first floor key. We are done here. Come on, open. Forgot it's just like dead quiet in this station.
Can I make a new theme for here now? It's not just the music that was outside by the train anymore. Wonder if this works still. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know why I try to spend jump half the time in the overworld anymore. This does more, but I don't think it's enough. I think they have 8 HP. The fuck you mean that wasn't a block? You all... Whatever. I hate these things. That's a poison pokey. As you probably guessed, it's a poisonous pokey. HP 8, attack 4. If you get poisoned, your HP will slowly drain, so you may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they have spines all over, so don't touch them! They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. on the outer stairs. It's nice to step outside the station and get some fresh air. Hey Mario, can we just take in this killer sunset for a while before our next bad guy appointment? It is pretty nice. Bobbery, kill! I go for the super guard, it fucking goes past the front line and hits the back. Dick. Because if you can deflect the part throw, I think on the regular pokes it did three damage. Is it still three damage on these assholes, or is it more? I can't remember. So no, it does hurt their ass. been a while since we've given Koops any action. Action. I can't fucking speak English today. Oh, I should go for the spin on these assholes. Ah, eh, fuck. Ooh, it does four. Eat it, buddy. I never actually did it to the regular Pokies in this game yet, have I? I'm pretty sure it was three on them, though. But maybe it's four now. And, you know, they can change all kinds of crazy stuff. Level am I? Okay. 17. 
Oh, yeah, HP next if I want to keep it all even. Although, man, do I really need more HP? Close to a level up, which will heal us anyway. Hell, this fight might be the one, actually. Let's just blow our load. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah, Bobbery's pretty fucking strong. tic-tac-toe on that one at poster. Giving us a lot of these. That's it, I'm full. Stash on this one. Actually, no. I was like, that, the spite pals could be useful for the boss, but actually, no. Thinking about his mechanics, no, it won't. And actually, yep, healing. That's better than three damage. It's all right. Ice Storm gets tossed for this. Good lord. really want you to have Ice Storm here. Ah. Hole in the stairs. So does it just stay there if I don't grab it? want to come here for an ice storm, which would be a hell of a way to travel, for one. There we go. Guess I'll just leave that there. How does that not fucking count?
That's a spiky pair of Buzzy. A uh, Buzzy with spike and wings. HP 5, attack 3, defense 4. Hey, same stats as a normal Buzzy. Fire explosions don't work on Buzzies, in case you've forgotten. Ugh, worse yet, this one flies and has a spike. What a total pain. You'd be better off using an item or a special move to take him out. Spike shield! gonna get rid of this. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. Fuck you too, game. Yes, I did use Saw Salt just to kind of flex. <laughs> Didn't really need to do that, but... Eh, fuck this guy. Riverside Station garbage dump. Talk about an annoying place to navigate. And it smells like rotting goom nuts. It's amazing how much people throw away. Oh yeah, that's an item that's not in this game. I don't believe it is. Really? It is. That was actually the way to go, wasn't it? come back anyways. We'll go forward for now. This is the Riverside Station office. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Hey, now that I think of it, why would they put an office down here anyway? Or was I not supposed to bring that up? There's the damn key. This is the Riverside Station records room. They file all station business here. Or at least I think they do. Yep, these are probably files. 
What is with the random ass Goombas here? Oh, okay. Like, it's a little late for you guys, huh? Never really quite understood. It just feels like it's such a pointless bit, you know? Whatever. automatically jumped down. I didn't want that, Mario. Oh, this is the same as the previous room. Anyways, upgrade time. <clears throat> hey, it's me again, Tarek. Nice to see you again. When you get the Ultra Boots, then your jump attack power will go way, way up! And you can use a new jump technique, too! Let's practice- Oh, my fucking throat, fuck this. It's a little hard, but I know you'll get it. Just hold down A and rotate L to make your body fold up. Then release A to do a giant spring jump. Remember, though, you need to rotate a lot before you release, okay? Spring jump can help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you. Move left or right to move along a pipe, and B to let go of it. Well, way to go, Mario. That was well done. You clear the controls? Okay, now you've mastered Spring Jump. With the Spring Jump, you can attack blocks and other things in high places. For example, if you punch a panel from below, you can knock off something sitting on top of it. Oh yeah, you can use the spring jump in battle, too. So, see you next time, I guess, and good luck on your quest. So, yep. Can do this now. Finally get into that control room. But first... Super mushrooms here. All right, records room cleaned out, office cleaned out.
Yeah, we're just gonna explode these. That's that's a lot. Goodbye, you weird fucking worm thing. Explosions work after they're flipped, right? No. I thought that did. Besides the coins, we have on this side. Seems like it's just the coins. Which, I'm greedy, so... sitting by the elevator in the first room? Yeah, we got everything here. Huh. Alright. Well, all the star pieces and shines. I forgot how short this area is. Lats his head on the fucking platforms anymore. And slowly falls down. Whoa, Gonzalez! What in the world are these little monsters? Chase them off and find that switch fast! What are those weird things? Can you drive them away with your hammer?
How does this bloody station work? Ow! Alright, fuck him, are you? What do you think the drawbridge got lowered? Let's get out of here. And that's it. Dungeon done. Good. That combined with damage dodge. Yeah, sure. Like the drawbridge was lowered correctly. Let's make our way back on board the train. First, I want to practice spring jump, though. I remember having a little trouble with it, even in the original game. Why do you have to choose it twice? Yes, I want to practice my moves. Spin jump. Spin when doing this. Eh, it's not that complicated after all. Yeah, I've used Ice Smash before. It's the same as regular Hammer. I've never used Head Rattle. Is it the same input? Yeah. Same as Ice Smash, just status effect. Alright, simple as hell. Hey, thanks a lot, Mario. Now we'll get you guys rolling. The day is just passing you on by. Hurry all aboard, everybody. Have a good trip. Yo, G Money, it's me, King K, your butt from the Glitz Pit. I know you remember me. How you doing? What, you off KO and fools left and right somewhere else? I'm still living large in the minor league, but I'm keeping busy. You know how it is. I gotta thank you again for convincing me to stay. You fired me up good. So, are we ever gonna chill again or what? Or are we just gonna meet in the ring? Careful, next time you front on the King K, I'm gonna be way, 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 way better. Keep it real. All aboard! Get that poor little left butt in here! Attention, 
attention, all passengers. Thank you for your patience. Our next stop is our last, Poshley Heights. It won't be long until we reach Poshley Heights. Let's call it a day and get some sleep. <sighs> the final day. Ah, morning of a dune day. I love it. It's so cool and brisk, too. I love that. We still got time before we arrive at Poshy Heights. Let's walk around and admire the train before the trip ends. <sighs> All of our threats have been dealt with, right? We just gotta hope Beldum doesn't find the star before we do. Huh, did we wake up too early? Doesn't seem anybody's on duty in the kitchen. Well, that's concerning. Pennington, you know what everyone is? Pennington? How's Bob doing? He's a cute kid. Hello? should open. I made that a bit creepier than the original. Now I have to see all their dialogue. Odd that it won't open. It really seems like it should. This door's a bit of an odd duck, hmm? Not opening is the opposite of proper door behavior. Disappointing. It seems quite stuck, doesn't it, dearie? Huh? This door's not budging at all. How do you open it, I wonder? We did it just fine the other day, damn it. Sh shouldn't this open? It looks like it should. Pole door won't open at all. Curious, isn't it? Everyone else is gone, and the shopkeeper seems, uh, possibly dead. I'm sure everything's fine. How's our ghost buddy doing? Oh, I'm Mario. How's your stash? Life on the island feels great. When the sun rises, I wakey-wakey, and when it sets, I tuck in for snoozy time. Perfect for a simple bloke like me, right? Every now and then that last Flavio stops by and spits out some bit of drivel about treading water instead of seizing life. Well, I just tune him out. So, you off for another adventure? I think that suits you best. Give them oolikins what for and save your princess. Pop hatch. Apparently, they get the Wi-Fi signal on Kiel Hulky. There's a large sanctum in Poshley Heights. The picture on display there is so big, it looks like you could just jump inside. I think Toodle said that too, huh? What are people talking about pictures you jump into? Hey, big boy! Well, if he's not in the kitchen, you really think he'd be in his room. Where the fuck is everyone? Hey, Toodles, you see? Huh.
Well, at least the train's still being driven by someone. Ah, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Huh? Is there something on the windshield? Though it actually gets darker now when they cover it up. Ah, what are these things? Well, aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. First, we have to ensure that the passenger is safety. But I have to keep driving the train. Mario, can you check out the rest of the train for me? I already did. Everyone's fucking dead. I have to keep driving. Mario, check the rest of the place. I'm worried about all the other passengers. So let's go make sure they're okay. We should check the whole train, front to back. Kind of already did. There is nobody here. So yeah, it makes the train actually darker and the glowing eyes. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're a little creepier in, in Remake. Yep, still dead. Actually, I'm pretty sure if you talk to him now, now he'll wake up and you can use the shop again for storage and stuff. But... Talk to me, that. Smart, 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 Those little monsters are inside the train now! Let's get them! What is up with these gross critters in the baggage car? Quick, smack them around, Mario! <laughs> oh, they had the poor conductor! How horrible! Please help them! Mario, you saved us again! I must have been t taken by those black things while I was sleeping! Scary! Where in the world did they come from? Wait, they still have the other paying passengers! Those poor souls! Let's chase after those creatures. We could take the high road if you grab that hanging pipe. It's just like, too scary! I wonder if the other passengers are okay? They're not. Where in the world did they come from? Wait, they still have the other passengers! We must make our way through these icky fiends. Give them a taste of your hammer, Mario. I'll help out as well. This is the train's roof. Look at that scenery go whipping by. Wowzer! Look, this is no time for you to be describing stuff. These guys are so annoying! They're flippy and floppy and gross and I hate them. Let's get rid of them. Agreed!
Smog. What is that gross thing? No! Mari, look, it's got the other passengers. Is smorg. That's a smorg. Lots of smorgs gathered to create this huge monster. HP 50, attack 5, defense 1. It attacks with weird tentacles. We won't do any damage to the main body unless we defeat the tentacles first. That's simple biology. The tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? It may also take other forms that expose more of its gross body, but boost its attack power. Let's just hurry and beat this thing down so we can save those trapped passengers. Never use this move. About the same, huh? It's probably just for multi target rather than one enemy. So I'll admit, as a kid, this boss walled the crap out of me. I got stuck on this guy for a while. Looking back on it now, man, kids suck. Let's see, Let's see. He uses nine FP. Am I just going to skip it second phase? God, this game is easy. <laughs> this g you can just break this game open so hard. Only worth 50 coins instead of the usual 100 that the chapter bosses give. How did I get stuck on this as a kid? Smork, smork, smork. I completely skipped it second phase, good lord.
Maybe you get the 100 if it goes to phase 2. Maybe you get less if you fucking just obliterate it. Boy, it's like all you did for three days was save us. How can we ever thank you? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you so much. You saved my life. No, oh, stupid tongue of mine. You saved my life. So, did you all know, this dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along. We'll soon arrive at Parshley Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. And welcome to our destination at last. The luxury city of Poshley Heights. Attention all passengers, now arriving at Poshley Heights! Please watch your step and be sure to take all of your belongings with you! And thank you for choosing the Excess Express! We're finally here, Mario! There's no time to waste, let's go find Poshley Sanctum, like the professor said. Can I, uh, get a free heal? Be fine if they, like, threw you off. Reset! Get the fuck off! Hmm. Let's head to Poshley Sanctum. The exit for the train is in car one. I just got a phone call from my old boyfriend. I'm so super glad I got these shell earrings back now. That could have been awkward. Oh, now I must prep the vegetables. No, no, stupid! You use this foolish flapping tongue! Prep them! And today I try a new mushroom recipe that will make taste buds weep. How goes, traveler? I will not acknowledge the shit that just went down! Dun, 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 manage my crap. Yep, oh, we've hit the hour. What? Let's keep going. The crystal star is just ahead. We just gotta waltz up and grab it. In all my years as conductor, I have never had a trip like that one. And I still can't believe how you say this every time something bad happened. Wanna work here? Adjusting legs. <sighs> well, he's just still talking about the d painting. I know it was a wild ride, sir, but did you enjoy the XS Express experience? Please come again. I assure you it will be more sedate. Because the XS Express is fabulous! I've never heard sedate used like that as, like, an adjective. <laughs> Sedated? But not just sedate. Didn't know you could use it like that. <laughs> we have a bit of time until our next departure. Let's head to Poshy Sanctum. You think we can get there if we just follow the road? Ugh. 
This is the Poshi Heights Station. The Excess Express to Rogueport is here. This place is so upscale. It's like the polar opposite of Rogueport. You can tell that movie stars and millionaires live here. It just reeks of cash. Yep. Remembered that one. Now that we're here, we'll purchase that birthday present for little Bub. Hey, mister, I'm gonna get a train set. The coolest one ever invented. I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps. Ooh, fancy pool. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't mind me. Just gonna steal your shit. People I'm waiting for haven't arrived yet, so I may do some sightseeing at Poshley Sanctum. On the expensive count, of course. As if you have to ask by now. There we go. I never remember being able to go in here. There's not actually anything back here, though, huh? Welcome to my vacation home, you marvelous man. The train journey certainly was thrilling, hmm? I just remembered something. I'm gonna want a picture of this house. And maybe the front, too. It's a surprise for later! All right, what do we miss? Maybe something behind the stairs? It's like, screw rich people, steal everything. I'm like, I thought I remembered something behind a chair here, but uh, they make the hitboxes of the star pieces a little too precise. Rub against the back of everything in this game. So, lovely house, eh? Yeah, sure. Take your time, soak in all its majesty. I built it with even the smallest details in mind, making every nook special. Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around outside, too. That's a resident of Poshy Heights. He's related to Herringway, the novelist. Oh, first game reference. Herringway's detective books have sold so well that he's bought a second house here. And I get the impression he likes trains. A model of the Excess Express and the train from the first game. Cute. I guess it's sort of fun to live here, but I can't eat snow cones or make little snowmen or go ice skating or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? Don't know what you got till it's gone. That's a resident of Poshy Heights. He's related to Herringway the Novelist. Moving from frigid Shiver City to toasty Poshy Heights seems to have irked him. Actually, yeah, that's a picture of the first game's train, too. Hotel. This is Poshy Heights. It's a relaxed town that positively reeks of money. There's a very nice hotel here, too. Wouldn't it be nice to stay there sometime? Bonjour, Monsieur de la Moustache. Isn't the last at the reception desk magnificent? I shall stay here every night until her heart is mine. I shall not tire. I've had more than enough of this guy. How does he do it? I'm almost impressed now. 
He moves at light speed and he always knows where we'll be. Talk about freaky. Sir, if you'd like to stay here, I must ask you to observe reception desk etiquette and stay on your side. That's the hotel receptionist. If you feel down and out, you ought to rest here. This is the nicest hotel in a super fancy town. I bet they have totally great service. Yes, yeah, fancy expensive hotels aren't always good service. This is the Royal Poshley Park Tower. We promise a comfortable stay in the lap of luxury, the pinnacle of poshness. A room for the night is 30 coins. Nope! Nothing back here. Excuse me, sir. If you'd like to stay, we must ask you first stop by the reception desk. Oh, uh, you can't even check out the room. No browsing. Surely this isn't too deep. I think I fucking hate this town. We're the Wandering Girls, the Traveling Sisters 3. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Posse Heights sure is a place for the rich of the rich, huh? We're really thinking of going to see Posse Sanctum next. These are the Traveling Sisters. They go everywhere together. Sounds nice, you know, traveling. Wish I had time to travel with friends from school. That's the same as before, huh? That's a hotel coupon, huh? End coupon. So, eh, I'll save that for when I... Well, you know, we'll actually use one. Welcome to you. How'd you like to buy some high-quality fresh pasta as a souvenir? One package for 50 coins! Is there a way to lower that? Spaghetti is more than the fancy hotel! That's a toad shopkeeper. They're selling fresh pasta as a souvenir. True to its name, Poshley Heights is serving up high-caliber noodles with a fittingly rich flavor, no doubt. No. We didn't chat up this penguin. I heard Pashi Heights is a quiet place, but there are lots of tourists, eh? Maybe I should just open a store selling Shiver City souvenirs. Yeah, maybe so. That's a resident of Pashi Heights. He's related to Herringway, the novelist. Now that he's used to life here, he seems to be making the most of it, huh? Welcome to Poshly Sanctum. That's Poshly Sanctum. I guess the Sanctum grounds are used as a public square. That fountain out front is unique, huh? Yeah, but that water... I bet Nibbles would still chomp your tush if you fell in. Why is there nowhere safe? How can we get inside the Sanctum? Guess we should take a good look around. May not look like it, but I get pretty stressed out. Like, really bad, eh? A walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better, you betcha. Care to join me, guy? So those aren't shoes. That's a resident of Poshy Heights. He says he walks barefoot for his health. I wonder if I should try that. People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. And I say, no way, Jose, because it's a bit different every day, you know? I'm not the same as I was yesterday. Neither are you. Even the town changes. And you'll never see another day just like today, so treat each day like it is. Unique. I slept all day today. That's Todia of Poshley Heights. She spends a lot of time thinking by the fountain. She's actually leading a double life as the secretary of the Luigi fan club. Have we met a Mario fan club in this game? Some fancy shy guys. Hey there, Poshley Heights sure is nice and warm, eh? Yeah, I really dig it here. Cold places make me sneeze. That's a resident of Poshy Heights. He's totally fixated on this spot for some reason. I was thinking maybe he hops into the fountain on really hot days. But wasn't there a nasty old snapping nibbles in that fountain? Poshy Sanctum's rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing, so is the building. I could just stare at it all day, you betcha. That's a resident of Poshy Heights. He really, really likes the Sanctum. Really. I kind of see where he's coming from. It is a nice building. Talk about an eyeful, you know? No more invisible blocks for these high blocks. But well, we don't need them anymore.
Alright, it's just the shine sprite. Gone traveling, Sanctum Manager. Hmm. Should I just jimmy the lock, dearie? I love her. <laughs> ah, it is my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? Hmm? You live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager? Oh my, I thought you were a detective. Well, yes, that is uh, more like a hobby of mine, if truth must be told. And you're shit at it! Enough chatter. Shall we go inside? But enough chatter, hmm? That's Pennington. I guess sleuthing is just his hobby. He's the Sanctum Keeper. I knew that detective bit was fishy, but I guess a little sleuthing on the side is okay. All right, let's head inside. <laughs> You're one step too late. We have the crystal star. Uh. Hey, don't leave without me. Ugh. Sorry about the window. Oh no! We're too late! We gotta go after them! Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly! Hmm, yeah, it's quite rudimentary. So we were looking for the crystal star in the sanctum. <laughs> yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. The stone our root friend stole was, un was fortunately a red herring. A fake. The real one is hidden somewhere in the Sanctum to prevent such theft. However, as to the location of the real Crystal Star... Well, as Sanctum Manager, I am, of course, prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is. Oh, you can be most certain. Yes, indeed. Besides, I'm sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Now, Luigi, put to use all the razor shop soothing skills I've taught you. Make me proud! This is partially sanctum. It sure is spacious inside. Echo! 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 Does Pennington really live here alone? I bet it's hard to clean this place. The star marks on the floor sure stand out in here. Think there's supposed to be some kind of sign? I'm prohibited from telling you the location of the real star. It's not as if I've merely forgotten or anything. <laughs> no, don't make me chortle. The secret's quite safe. But you must find it on your own, I'm afraid. I do like a good treasure hunt. And if Beldum's got a fake one, we don't have to worry about rushing. There's that painting someone told us about. It's the star pedestal. Looks like a painting of the Sanctum. The colors and stuff really pull you in, huh? Is this going to be another everyone has dialogue for it thing? Ma, a painting of the Sanctum. There's something grandly evocative about it. It's almost too realistic. It's a painting of the Sanctum. It's really well done. Super realistic. It's a painting of the Sanctum. It's really vivid. Like it could be real. A fine painting of the Sanctum for certain. I feel like I could step inside. A painting of Sanctum, and a rather captivating one at that. It's the Sanctum. What an impressive painting. It just pulls me in. It's like a horizontal bar at the bottom, so we can't slip through that grate. Oh, fence. Whatever. There's a switch at the top up there. Is there anything? Yes, there is. Another of these. Giving us a lot of attack items in this chapter.
Here we go. Oh, we're cooking that. it out. It was just those two items. The crystal star has to be in Poshley Sanctum somewhere. The true sanctum. Is this part of Poshley Sanctum too? Exactly how does all of this work? Well, whatever. This must be the secret resting place of the Crystal Star. Based on his reactions, I'd say that Pennington didn't even know about this. The Crystal Star, hidden inside the Sanctum's picture. Can you believe it, Mario? Hooktail battle theme? It is. Well, Hooktail castle battle theme. Anyways, meet Dark Booze. That's a Dark Boo. Purple just looks so wrong. These boos are so creepy. HP 8, attack 5. It's HP and attack are high, but they're just like ordinary boos otherwise. So, just attack it like a normal boo. Get it before it turns invisible! Really? Should have attacked with him, with the partner. I give three a pop, we're close to leveling up, maybe I should just beat these guys. One power boost is all we really need. <laughs> That'll actually really fuck him up. Mario, jump! Yeah, yeah we can just take him out one move. Yeah, let's get that level up.
They get pretty decent money, too. Fuck it. Let's just slaughter them. And they still give three. It didn't go down. Yeah, no, this is absolutely worth it. Violencia! It's like easy star points, baby. Heal him? Yes. Well, that one only gave two. Does the amount of enemies have effects on experience payouts? I mean, still pretty much freebie, though, so... And that one gave three. Enemy amount does affect star points. I never knew that. Is that a change in the remake, or has that always been a thing? Floating won't save you. Interesting, it went back to the Hooktail Castle theme for this. Well, I guess I... Jazz might not have been the most fitting for this room. So four is when it goes up to three points. Oh well. Cha-ching. Already at 37. For no risk or effort. See, there's an item up there. Oh, damn it. Oh, wait, actually. Nothing down here on. The oh, there is. Uh, my items are full. So, yeah, we'll leave that boo sheet alone for now. We will be grabbing this, though. Ugh, oh, that's 
Sneezes always, always come in pairs, man. The L emblem. Changes Mario's clothes into Luigi's. Yeah, we have the Wario one and the Luigi one now. And if we put them both on... It's -a me! What, Luigi? <clears throat> Obtained the Garnet Star. Learned Showstopper. Yep, that's it. You just walk up and grab it. Chapter cleared. Mario found the sixth crystal star, hidden craftily in the Poshly Heights Sanctum. Now, only one remains. But our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be? And where is Peach? Hoping this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and friends return to Pennington. Now that we got the star, let's get out of here. Only recently converted to a domicile, this former temple is now home to Pennington, the detective. A town famous for all the wealthy people living in it. There are plenty of extravagant vacation homes and hotels in the town. Alright, yeah, 100%. We cleaned Chapter 6 out. And that is going to do it for this episode. So, oh, does the intermission not trigger until we talk to him? <clears> hmm, <throat> so that is where it was. Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. <clears throat> Just talk to my brain. All geniuses do it. Congratulations, Luigi. You found the real crystal star. So please, feel free to take it. I will just put another fake one over here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit rather fun as well. I'm sure you'll have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. <laughs> Let's make tracks road for it. And that does it for this one. So, until next time, everybody, you all have a great evening and take care of yourselves. Good night. <laughs> yeah, he's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Get played, losers. <laughs>